Hi and hello, football fans. Dave Damashek coming at you from Pittsburgh, or should I say Ifsburg, to play another round of What If with Pittsburgh Steelers history. What if Jesse James hadn't been robbed? Today, let's figure out what would have happened had in week 15 of the 2017 season, the Jesse James catch, and I did say catch, had counted as such. Throws it for the touchdown to Jesse James! Would you believe that? We now know the Pats, benefiting from a very questionable call, survived the ground of Heinz Field, and as a result, were handed the AFC's top seed and a breezy divisional round matchup against the overmatched Tennessee Titans. But what if Jesse James hadn't been robbed? Would you believe that? Well, the Steelers would have pulled off not just a thrillingly improbable win, but in doing so, would have become the conference's number one seed. Yes! Yes! Significant because the Jacksonville Jaguars had emerged that season as a 21st century rarity Pittsburgh pigskin fans might otherwise have been able to appreciate, a defensive juggernaut in the QB League. Speaking of juggernauts, Big Ben Roethlisberger in the Pittsburgh offense was the tops in the league, and number seven at the trigger, putting up some of the best numbers of his Hall of Fame career. Yeah! Here we're swapping out the Jags, whose approach had already in the regular season proven to be a knuckleball-sized bit of kryptonite for the superb Steelers for a more tepid Titans team. Remember the Titans? They weren't that good that year. Meantime, the Jags are now headed to Foxborough for a war of attrition against the Pats. Whoever survived that one would have been badly beaten up. But let's say the matchup played out as it actually did in that title game and the Pats get through. Now listen, I know what you're thinking. Pats coming to Pittsburgh in January hasn't spelled much happiness this millennium. But remember, the Steelers had already beaten them the month prior. Thanks again, Jesse James. And besides, that addition of Belichick's gang didn't really stack up with their best teams. And if you don't believe me, look at what Nick Foles did to him in the Super Bowl. So after two heartbreakers in title games passed, the terrible towel finally sops up some cold revenge. Bottom line, Nick Foles doesn't get that Lombardi, and Brady has to wait for number seven because that Lombardi now belongs to number seven. Congratulations.